Hey everyone, it's the Mighty Peanut here, and today I'm going to be breaking down some brand new Halo 4 gameplay. In episode 1 of this little mini-series, I'm going to be covering some Spartan Ops gameplay and generally analysing how the system works, and possibly showing you some stuff that you might have missed in the trailers. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Firstly, for those of you who might be a little bit less informed than others, I'm going to be roughly going over how the Spartan Ops system works. Spartan Ops is basically Halo 4's brand new 4-player cooperative experience, comprised of a collection of story-driven missions tied into a weekly cinematic. Each week a new cinematic comes out with five missions attached to it. When you go to play Spartan Ops with others, you can either join with a full party or search for other players. The five missions are then voted on, like maps and game types in previous Halo matchmaking. By completing these missions, you get experience based on how well you did in the game. There's been plenty of controversy over what kind of ranking system was going to be in Halo 4, but I'm pretty sure due to this footage it's absolutely clear that it's going to be a Halo Reach style ranking system based on gathering XP in the thousands in order to rank up as opposed to the classic Halo 3 1 to 50 system. Now do bear in mind that these are only beta pictures from very early stages, and we haven't yet seen or heard any news regarding a typical numerical ranking system per se, but I'm pretty sure that that doesn't rule out 343's implementation of a system like that at a later date in specific ranked playlists. Now, as well as general experience that's earned in Spartan Ops, you also earn Spartan Points. I'm not too sure on the specific role of Spartan Points yet, but I'm pretty sure from this footage that they're spent in the customization sections. Now that's pretty much all the information I've got about the general overview of Spartan Ops and its operation. So, let's get on to the nitty gritty fun stuff. Let's start with weapons. In the trailers and previews I've seen, there's a couple of interesting facts about the weapons that I'd like to share with you guys. Firstly, in Spartan Ops you can't just start with every single weapon imaginable, like Halo Reach. You have to actually go through and unlock these weapons. From these videos, it seems that this is done by just ranking up. But I'm pretty sure that's what Spartan Points will be used for. Buying extra weapons and equipment. Now in this piece of footage we're shown an unlocked assault rifle. Underneath it we see written 8 out of 15 unlocked. I'm pretty sure that this means in Spartan Ops there are a total of 15 weapons to unlock. If we rewind though, we can also see the number of other things that make up a loadout. Including secondary weapon, grenade type, ability and even extra ammo. The thing that caught my eye here is probably the thruster pack, as there was a bit of speculation before this stuff came out on whether it was going to be a thruster pack or an actual jetpack. Now in the footage in this trailer, we see a guy obviously using the thruster pack. It doesn't really lift him off the ground that much, and it emits these big bright yellow sparks. There is a second player, however, who is actually getting quite a bit of elevation off the ground, and his thruster pack is emitting very tight blue flames. Could there be both a jetpack and a thruster pack in Halo 4? On the subject of jetpacks, actually, there's some footage later on in this release where we see a jetpacking or thruster packing player fall from the sky. It could just be a Covenant shot hitting him, but his shields do appear to flash when he hits the ground. I know it's not confirmed, but could there be fall damage in the game? Now I know I kind of finished weapons ages ago, but the last thing I wanted to cover was this extra ammo ability, the ammo pack. I wasn't sure how beneficial this would be until I went through the gameplay and checked how much ammo the Magnum had, and it seems to be quite a significant increase on the default. Well guys, that's about it for today. That was my Spartan Ops analysis and breakdown. If you enjoyed this, please like and favourite and do whatever you want. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all later.